Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! What up, everybody? It's your boy Andrew coming back at you with another episode of the Jaguar Podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing the Jags signing 49ers defensive end Arden Key. So let's get into it. But before I start, quick shout out to one of our affiliates and partners, FL Teams, a Florida sports website. They do great coverage of all Florida sports teams. And I put my content up there as well. It's flteams.com. Link in the video description. All right. So let's get into it. The Jags last week signed Arden Key, former 49ers defensive end. I really like this signing. We really needed help uh, with the pass rush, you know, with Caleb on chase on just not being very productive. Um, Josh Allen not having really that great of a season either. And I think that's, you know, maybe a little bit of scheme, maybe some double teams that he was getting. So, um, I like this. I like this move. It's a cheap deal, one-year deal, $4 million. Um, And I think Arden Key's a really good defensive end. I mean, good pass rusher. Um, When you look at his PFF grade, I don't think that really tells all of the truth. It's like a 69.5, which isn't great. But you you look at his pass rush score, he he got a 79.4. And then his run defense was a 55. So... I think he's more of a pass rusher. That's what they brought him in for. And I think he'll be a great compliment uh, at the edge, you know, having Josh Allen and then Dewan Smoot, who was lined up on the edge. I, we saw him a lot, you know, in a two-point uh, stance, you know, standing up, rushing the passer. I just think it's going to be a great, you know, set of, you know, edge rushers that we have. I think he's going to be a rotational player. Um, you look at his numbers, pretty good numbers, too, for 2021. He had eight sacks, uh, 10 solo tackles, and uh, six assisted tack- tackles. Um, and then I think he had, you know, like 17 quarterback hits uh, in 2021 as well. So, you know, I think this is going to be a really good pickup for the Jags. Um, you know, and he's pretty healthy. He can stay healthy. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I really like this move. Um, I think it takes some of the pressure – off the Jaguars uh, in regards to the draft. There's been a lot of discussion about whether to draft Evan Neal, whether to draft Aiden Hutchinson or Trayvon Walker. So I think this gives some, you know, breathing room for the Jaguars. I think, honestly, I think they're going to, they're going to pick Evan Neal at number one um, offensive tackle for Alabama. I think he's a great talent, a generational, you know, uh, player potentially for whatever team, you know, he lands um, at. So, you know, I think Jacksonville should, you know, go and and pick Evan Neal if at this point, you know, just because, you know, we have uh, enough edge rushers. I mean, like I said, we have Josh Allen, we have Dewan Smoot, we have Arden Key, um, you know, so I feel pretty comfortable, you know, with our outside pass rush. We picked up some defensive tackles uh, in – in free agency, you know, we got oh, one defensive tackle, really, uh, Foley Fatukaze from the Jets, who I think is pretty solid as well. Good run uh, stuffer there, uh, run stopper. And then, you know, we have Malcolm Brown, and then we have um, Devon Hamilton, excuse me. So, um, yeah, I feel like we're pretty good at the def- defensive line spot. I think we can feel comfortable, you know, drafting uh, a left tackle in the first round. Um Hopefully we get Evan Neal. I'd like to see it. And, um, you know, hopefully we pick up some some defensive assets, maybe at linebacker um, and pick up some offensive linemen, you know, at guard and, and center. So I'm really liking this signing. Um, I think hopefully we get a lot of production out of him. He's got great technique, too. I mean, when you look at his highlights, uh, he gets very good separation uh, from the tackles, you know, King Shed blocks um just does a really good job at rushing the passer uh can fly to the ball and and make the play get the sack um really good pursuit so i'm really happy with the signing and uh i think this will 
work out for the Jaguars. But let me know how you feel about this signing. Leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. I'm also going live on Wednesday with FL Teams, and I've been doing that for a couple weeks now. And it's been awesome, guys. We're having a lot of great conversations uh, regarding baseball, football. Um, it's just been awesome, and, and we try to you know cover the whole gamut. So uh, check us out, FL Teams, live uh, every Wednesday, and it usually ranges between 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, sometimes we, we go a little later. But um, check us out there. Uh, come join the fun chat, pop in. We also go live on Twitter Spaces as well. So uh, we can take some of your questions there. But, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, appreciate the love and support. And uh, stay safe, stay sane, stay healthy. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time. On to keep their hearts racing, eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive scheme. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.